Oh, hey there. Now you guys look a little confused and might be asking yourself, what is going on? Well, for starters, if you guys haven't figured it out already, that is me. Yeah, the guy with the funny hat on. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Austin Furtado and I work here with the Furtado Group. Now, before we dive into today's topic, I need you guys to do me one huge favor. And now I need you guys to open up your phones and head over to Instagram and on that top search bar, type in the Furtado Group. This is where you're gonna find our most recent content. As you guys may know, we love modern. So on this page, you're gonna have a ton of modern inspiration, either through projects that we're currently working on for ourselves or projects that we're working on with our clients. On this page, you're also gonna be finding a whole bunch of real estate insight on basically how we work with investors or even if we're working with a buyer or seller and how we put together top strategies and gameplays to get the best results. Now, without taking up too much more of your time, let's dive right into today's topic. Investment properties. When looking at the ultra wealthy, I've always wondered how they got there or what they had. And in most cases, the answer was the same. They owned real estate. Now, when taking a deeper look into their real estate career, these are people that have acquired properties either through commercial or residential properties over the years. Today, we'll be dissecting our strategies and how we find these golden opportunities around the GTA and how over the last couple of years, we've been able to help our clients as well as invest for ourselves and create a certain type of lifestyle that we necessarily couldn't do before while building equity. At the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a rare opportunity, which is a fully legal dual income property in the Hamilton Mountain area that is currently rented out both upstairs and downstairs, which will be able to produce a positive cash flow opportunity every single month for you. So stick around for that. But let's dive into these three guideline tips to finding the ultimate investment property. Number one, location. When it comes to location, we Canadians have a great opportunity at hand due to the fact of the amount of immigration that come into the country every single year. A study from Stats Canada shows that we have about 300,000 people immigrating every single year into Canada and 170,000 of those immigrants are workforce ready. Now out of that 170,000, Toronto probably gets 100,000 of those workforce ready immigrants. Due to the amount of immigration, we have seen a great appreciation in the real estate market, and we are so fortunate to have so many great areas to be investing in. Now, having said that, there are other areas that outperform others, and that is exactly what we're looking for. Across the Golden Horseshoe, there's going to be different areas that come with different price points for similar types of homes. And everyone's financial situation may be different, so you may not have 20% down on a $500,000 or $600,000 investment property. And it may take you a couple years to save up that amount, but by that time that you go to purchase, property prices may be a lot higher. So it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. And this goes to my point before about how the greater Toronto area has so many options and different price points that we can choose from so we can get our foot in the door and start building equity, which will allow us to change the way we live our lives. Number two, cash flow. What is cash flow? Well, right here we can see the basic definition of a positive cash flow property is an investment property where the income, usually diverted from the rent, is greater than the sum of all expenses of the property. This is where things become a little bit trickier due to the fact that we have to find a property that is going to be at a certain purchase price that after we get tenants in there, the rent is going to cover all the expenses and hopefully leave us at a cash flow positive but worst case scenario, cash flow neutral. So even though areas such as Oakville, Burlington, Mississauga, and Toronto have great appreciation, with the higher purchase prices in those areas and the market rent, typically don't have enough to cover the mortgage and the expenses of running the property. Now, don't let this discourage you as there's still areas where we can find properties that will allow you to have a cash flow positive opportunity. Depending on the amount of cash flow you're looking for, one of the areas that both ourselves and our clients have had really good success in investing in is the Hamilton Mountain area. This stems from three factors. One, appreciation in Hamilton has been steadily increasing over the last couple of years. Number two, 
high market rents within the area. And number three, due to the amount of demand for rentals in the area, it has allowed us to purchase properties and actually have them filled by the time that we're closing so we never have to make our first mortgage payment. Now, the last thing we'll talk about in terms of cash flow is when having a cash flow positive or cash flow neutral, it is a much safer investment. This is mainly due to the fact that if the market has a correction and prices don't go up and for whatever reasons they come down, it is much easier to ride the wave and carry the property as you are not taking money out of your own pockets and paying for this investment property until the values go back up. Number three, finding that perfect turnkey property. And nowadays with all the sources of information that we have at our fingertips between the TV and the internet, it has made renovating homes so much more desirable. But here's a quick warning. Don't be fooled by what you see on TV. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a ton of money to be made within renovations and doing bigger projects, but to find the right property to do those projects on is a little bit harder to find. And in most cases, it will require more time and money, where the return on the investment may be no greater than finding that house that has already been finished. So in summary, find a property in a good location that has high appreciation, find a property in a good rental market that demands a high market rent, that will allow you to produce a cash flow positive or cash flow neutral situation. And lastly, find yourself a turnkey property where very little time and money has to be spent into it after purchasing. That's it, it's that simple. Remember at the beginning of this video, I mentioned a property that is currently available in the Hamilton Mountain? Well, here it is. Here is a rare opportunity. This is a fully renovated legal dual income property on the Hamilton Mountain. Both units have been beautifully renovated and meet OBC code and collectively bring in $3,050 per month plus utilities. This house is currently listed for $620,000. So if we take a look at our calculators and we know the purchase price is $620,000 and we're looking at putting 20% down, our down payment is $124,000. After our mortgage payment, taxes and insurance, that total payment comes out to $2,503 per month. And with a monthly income of $3,050, we are left over with a positive cash flow of $547 every single month. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or you guys have interest in the property that we just mentioned, or if you'd like a free list of similar properties at different price points, feel free to reach me at austin at rockstarbrokerage.com or you can head to our website at www.thefurtadogroup.com.